from doing good in the world to doing good in the kitchen. We've still got Feruza in the kitchen, but my favorite chef is back joining us. Hello, Jay. Welcome. And samosas are always a winner for an afternoon tea snack. And with this next recipe, we will show you how to create the, create the most delicious, crispy potato and mixed veg samosas in the comfort of your own home using golden cloud to make that perfect samosa dough. Now, Jay, most times when people make samosas, they already buy in the, pa the pastry already mm. done. But now you're going to show us a different technique by making the actual pastry ourselves. Perfect. It's a super simple dough to make. Mm -hmm. Farouz already uh, alluded to the fact you can use phyllo dough, you can use spring roll wrappers, but you can make it yourself. Yeah. And how are we going to do that today, Tumi, is we're going to be using our golden cloud cake wheat flour. So I've got about two cups in here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in with a bit of salt, okay, and a bit of cumin seeds, and then some oil. And then with the water tombs, I just sort of like to eyeball it. Okay. The recipe is on the website and it's so, sort of foolproof, but you can sort of eyeball it. So add a little bit at a time. At a time. And, and then you sort of want to bring that dough together almost to a firm consistency. So not too, not too soft okay. because you want it to hold its shape. Yes. And you, with using the golden cloud cake flour, it, it, it ensures a crispy outer layer yeah. and make sure that it's very soft in the inside. Now, Love we've it. got some that's already made. Then. And Feruza, yes, you're going to be uh, showing us how to roll. Absolutely this. love the texture of this dough. So we're always going to start off with a circular shape. Okay. And then um, <clears throat> the other thing that I've got is my oil. It's busy heating. And how do you know that you've got the right temperature? You must be able to hold your hand like that. That's another tick we <laughs> didn't know. So I can absolutely hold my hand. So I know it's not too hot, not too cold. And then my filling, of course, I'm just going to give that a quick stir through a lovely mixed vegetable. And the mixture we're using today, yeah. we've chosen to go with potato and mixed veg. Yes, like, how would that. we hype it up to get those Cape Malay flavors in this particular okay. filet? Okay, so whenever I'm cooking vegetables in a samosa, I'm very high on garam masala, heavy. Okay. So um, mustard seeds, cumin, um, even fennel. It's really okay. good. So I'm going to start by cutting that in half. Okay. And then absolutely I'm going to create a little pocket. Ah, so we still so you that literally, triangular Yeah, shape. you're just literally going to pinch it. And this dough that you've made is so yummy because <laughs> that it's absolutely sticking. So I'm going to create a little pocket like that. And then once again, be mindful not to overfill it. Okay. Okay. Same. I've got a little, to me, you can just hold it like a little cup in your hand like that. And then you're simply going to pinch, 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 okay. pinch, 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 pinch. And you end up with a little shape like that. I do have a little bit of water, but but I don't think we're going to need it. Because of and the I'm kind of simply page. going to not drop, just plonk it lightly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try my, my luck as well. You've got so it, you've got you've that. You've done one for me, I'm also yeah. going to try And you can it. see that's what you want. The minute it heats the oil, it should be bubbling. Then you know it's actually hot enough. And I've got a little slotted spoon here just to... And I'm not going to fiddle with it too much because um, we don't want to mess with the shape. There we go. Perfect. And Look so at you. These are sort of like... <laughs> Empanada-ish. Empanada-ish. Yes. I love, I love, I love <laughs> that. They are empanada-ish. And you know what? Um, a 12-year-old can make this. Mm. Really. I, Obviously know, with supervision, but um, it's really easy to make. Mm. And Tooms, I've just given this a taste. Oh, and I have cool. to just mention... Mm -hmm. This recipe is actually sort of inspired by Feruza. We connected <laughs> before the show, and she told me how she loves taking something as simple and basic as frozen mixed veg, mm. turn it into a beautiful crispy samosa, serving it with some sambals on the side. So mm, I've tasted that cumin seed in the, in, in in the, the, in the dough. It. I love Fantastic. cumin. Yeah, and cumin I'm loving the biggie. fact that it's such a simple recipe and also economical because everyone has potatoes, everyone has those frozen veggies. And everyone has flour. Everyone has <laughs> flour. We all have flour. You know, it's really affordable as well. It is, it so, is. So this is what you want. You're really just going to cook it until it's light and golden. And once again, you can see I can hold my hand here. If I feel like I can't, I'm just going to play around with the temperature a little bit. But I think we're spot on. And these three are almost done. Very important. Some absorbent kitchen paper. But dough like this very seldom like soaks up oil. So you yeah. don't end up with that soggy samosa. Well, South Africa, you heard it right here <laughs> on Afternoon Express from Feruza directly. And if you want to get your hands on this recipe and whatever other recipe we're making today, make sure to go over to afternoonexpress.co.za for the full recipe.